can't forget the day we met Your eyes are blue, me pressing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile's so real Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel My name is Stephanie and here I'm back How have you all been? Hope everybody has been doing good and keeping um, safe, staying away from any form of crowd or uh, washing your hands to stay safe from getting infected with COVID-19 I know it has, re it has been really 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 um, a scary situation to everybody it has been a scary situation to me personally because um, if you didn't know about it I do work in the health care fee in the health fee and uh, with the situation of COVID and everything at the beginning where I work, we never had any cases, so I was like, cool, we're good, you know? But as time went on, oh my God, we started having um, cases, and it was so scary because people were quitting and everything, but now I'm, I'm the kind of person that I put my heart at everything I do, so I couldn't just stay away from working, even though my partner was always like, you need to stop working and everything, but... I, I was careful, I did all the right things that I was supposed to do, I went out there and I helped out and it even become more scary because I had now to work with people that were actually positive and it was so scary and it, was, it just got, um, it was draining, it was tiring. So I want, and I was do I was going through all this and having to do, uh, having to handle school at the same time. So it was just a lot. So I was not in the mood of making any videos. I was not in the mood of doing anything fun at that moment because everyone was just so scary. I was worried about my family. I was worried about myself that I could get sick, and I was like, I can't stay away from working because how am I gonna pay my bills if I don't work? You know. So it was just so scary but even with the fright and everything i just trusted god and i went out there and i did what i was supposed to do and god got uh, and god kept me safe and to be honest at one point i got sick yeah i got really really sick but you know i'm the kind of person that when i'm sick i don't just like um heal to the illness i just try i try to fight back so with us, I'm from Africa, so there was this drink that everybody was doing. Most Africans were doing like this ginger, garlic, um, lemon drink. So I was doing that drink like back to back, like in a day, I would drink it like my water. So I think that kind of helped me a little bit, it kind of helped strengthen, uh, help my immune system and help keep me um, healthy during that period. Because, guys, I was literally at that day's when I would go to work and I'll be working with. A yeah, so as I was saying, that days when I would go to work and I would work with this client who, to my knowing, is negative and then the following day I come back to work they're like, oh, this person tested positive, I'll be like, really? Really? Like, how am I? Like, wh like what? Like, that's how crazy it was. But I thank God that despite everything, God kept me safe. I was... I went through that period, I was safe, I never got COVID-19 every time, and I never tested positive at any point. But, there was this moment where I really, really got sick, guys. So, I had to leave um, my state, I traveled to Colorado for my friend's wedding. And when I was feeling feverish then, but I didn't know exactly why I was feeling, I just thought maybe it was a regular me, but then I just feel that way, you know. I went to my friend's place and we were out there for her wedding. And I wasn't even myself. I was just sick. And I had to take, uh, my friend had to give me ibuprofen and Tylenol and everything. But I wasn't feeling better. So I had to travel for, after the wedding, I had to travel again. I went to my husband's and I was there. And after some time, I was like, I was weak. I was sick. I was always cold. And I was like, this is not longer normal. Like, this is, this is crazy. Like, I couldn't even feel cold because I had all the symptoms. The only thing I never had was the temperature, but... I had every other symptom that they spoke about COVID. I was experiencing all those symptoms of COVID-19. The other thing is that I never had temperature. But I was like, in my head, guys, I was like, if I work with people that are positive, probably I got it from somewhere. I was so convinced I got it from somewhere. So my husband took me to the ER, and 
when I got there, they were like, the first thing they asked me was like, to do your test. I'm like, yeah, I tested like weeks ago and it's, I, it came out negative. They were like, oh, they're going to have to do another test because of what I'm saying. Uh, I, I, the symptoms, I COVID, uh, nine, uh, symptoms of COVID-19. I was like, what? I was like, whatever. I just, do, I just want to feel better because I was really feeling terrible, guys. I was feeling, I was so sure that I had COVID-19. So they went in, they did this, the, the, the COVID test. That's, that's COVID test that they said, guys, really? right into your throat i don't even know like it was so painful so they did the did the swab did the test everything came out negative and they just did find out some sometimes that wasn't even serious you know but it wasn't COVID 19. so i came out negative again i went home but i was down for like a month i guess it was just from too much working and stress and everything but after a month after that period i was just resting and relaxing and just um taking some time off from work and everything i was just home taking care of myself my husband was there and every my and my friends were there for me so i came out negative as i was saying but i was still feeling sick however it took me about a month or so to recover well i didn't actually recover i recovered recover, but i felt much better so after that period i had to not travel back to where I, where I go to school because I, 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 I live, my husband lives in another state and I study in another state. So I had to travel back. Even when I was traveling, guys, I was still sick. I was feeling sick, but I wasn't feeling like I was feeling much, but I was just trusting in God that God, you know, I begin, I have begun this journey and I have to finish it. So I was just believing that God is going to help me. So when I got to my state, I was feeling, I wasn't feeling like a hundred percent, but I had to just begin school. So, you know, <laughs> nobody's going to wait for you in school. Either you're there or you're not there. So I had to just come back and resume school, Sha. So I, as I resumed school, I was just going on about my business, struggling with school. And then guys, that I'm struggling with school. Then my car too just got up with its own wahala. My car just had an issue. You know, car issue in, a, in America. When a car issue just start, you know, they were hala. It would just be like, you go, it's back to back, back to back. So, with all of that, my my studies, and then I was so scared to go back to work because we still have the COVID-19 going on, you know. Then I was like, oh my God, I can't just stay at home. I was, I was just going through a lot, guys. So, all this period, I just had to find a balance between school work and my personal well-being before i could begin shooting again so that is just a summary of what i've been going through all this why and yeah and guys don't look at my nails i can't actually do much about my nails because um i can't <laughs> i just can't do a lot about my nails because of the nature of my job and then my school and everything yeah so yeah i just want to say thank you for those that have been sticking around and i also want to ask um for those of you that haven't subscribed yet guys please subscribe now please subscribe so that i will have i'll be because your subscription will motivate and your views will motivate me to want to do more i have a lot to share believe me i have a lot to share and I, I, it is your views and your subscription that's gonna motivate me to want to put more videos out there and i just want to use the opportunity to say guys please stay safe keep washing your hands Stay away from lash crowds. I know we have the Christmas, the, the Halloween, and the Thanksgiving coming up. But guys, I've tried to limit your crowd. Try to limit the number of people because COVID-19 is real. It's still out there. Okay, I don't have very much to say. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am back. And I hope by the grace of God that I'm going to be putting um, at least two videos a week out there in, on my youtube channel because as i said i'm a very busy person i got school i'm in school full time i do work as much as i can because i have responsibilities you know we africans we have responsibility that i have myself you know and also yeah it's not easy but i really love to do this because this is something that i've always wanted to do but i keep on procrastinating keep on waiting and this that there's never been a perfect time so i'm like there will never be that perfect time so now 
I am just trusting God that this period, despite everything that is happening, I'm gonna be putting out videos with your help, with your with your um encouragement, with your views and everything. I need you guys to 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 make this happen. So I'll just try as much as possible to put out two videos a week um, uh, on, on the channel so that please you guys should share, watch the video as much as many times as you can. I don't have much but more is going to be coming up as time goes on. But for now, this is all I have to tell you guys. This is all I have to share for today. So I'm going to be putting up this video and I'm going to be uploading another video about something that happened recently that really, I really feel like I should talk about Shai because if I don't speak about this thing, eh? We need to learn. We need to be better people, you know, out oh, yeah, here. We need to really do better. So with that being said, I'm gonna end this video right here and I pray that you guys please subscribe please share the video please like and please I need your comment what do you want me what kind of content do you want me to see because my content will basically about my life lifestyle every little thing that I can put out there this night like, it's not like anything specific anything I can just come up with anything random and share my, on my channel for the moment so what do you guys want to want to want to to to, to put out there just let me know ask me any questions and yeah we'll take it up from from there okay with that being said, I love you and stay safe, stay blessed. Bye-bye.